Good morning, class. You are warmly welcome to today's lesson. Good morning, sir. Thank you. In our previous lesson we learned about scientific methods and how it is applied by scientists to solve problems and to explore scientific knowledge. In today's lesson we would explore another exciting and important topic. Knowledge from this lesson would help us to know some of the external and internal features of organisms. In your mixed ability groups form an onion ring and share among yourself the parts and sides of other members that you can see. Tell your colleagues the different items and describe their views. Discuss what account for the difference in your view and that of other colleagues. Well done class. From your discussions, tell us what you noticed about the parts and views that you observed compared to your friends. Sir, sir. Okay Bertha, share your observation with us. Sir, I noticed that the views and parts that I saw from other colleagues and items in the class were different from others. My view slightly changed compared to those that were very close to me, but it became very different compared to those far away and in my opposite direction. Wow, that's a very good observation. What could be the cause of the different views that you observed? Since my view was slightly different from those close to me but became very different compared to those in opposite and farther distance in the onion ring. I can attribute this to the change in position. Thus students in different positions had different views. That's impressive. Class let's applaud her. Our topic for today is body orientation, symmetry and sectioning. From your observation and discussions so far deduce the meaning of body orientation. Body orientation refers to the position of an observer relative to what has been viewed. That's good Samuel. Let us take some few other responses. Body orientation could be referred to as what an observer can see based on his or her position relative to a specimen or whatever that is being viewed. Body orientation refers to the positioning or alignment of a specimen or his sections in a specific direction. Very good you have all really done well. Let's cheer ourselves up. As you have already explained, body orientation refers to the positioning or alignment of a specimen or its sections in a specific direction. Or it is the position of a body or specimen relative to the observer. Now that we know that orientation is the position of a body relative to what has been observed. Through thought showers discuss in your groups and come out with the different orientations a body can assume in its related term. A specimen could be viewed from either the head or the tail region. A view from the head region or front is referred to as anterior while posterior is a view from the tail end or rear part. That's very good. Let's get to know the other three types of body orientation. A view from the back of upper side of a specimen is termed as dorsal. A view from the underside or belly is called the ventral view. Lateral view is when a specimen is viewed from its sides. Now that we know the meaning and types of orientation, let's focus on our next objective for the day, which is body symmetry. From your understanding of symmetry, deduce the meaning of body symmetry. In mathematics we learned that a line of symmetry is a line that divides a shape into two equal parts. Based on that idea, I can explain that body symmetry refers to the arrangement or division of an organism's to get two equal halves or mirror images. That's very good. Body symmetry refers to the balanced arrangement and correspondence of body parts and structures on both sides of a central axis. For an example the equal distribution of floral parts, seeds and fruits of plants. And body parts such as limbs eyes and ears in animals. Body symmetry is the quality of being made up of exactly similar parts facing each other around an axis. What are the types of body symmetry? We have bilateral symmetry. Bilateral symmetry is a type of body symmetry in which the body of an organism or a specimen can be divided along only one plane to get two mirror images. 
Example is seen in human, other mammals, insects, birds, etc. Radial symmetry is the type of symmetry in which an organism or a specimen can be cut along two or more planes to get mirror examples are apple, watermelon, starfish, orange, etc. You have really done well. We can say that in bilateral symmetry organisms have an imaginary line cutting along only one plane to give two mirror images. But in radial symmetry organisms have an imaginary line cutting along two or more planes to get two mirror images. However organisms or specimens without a line of symmetry are referred to as asymmetric. Examples are amoeba proteus, fiddler crab, sponges etc. Group the various specimens provided orange, pear, tilapia, tomato, cockroach, lizard, starfish into bilateral and radial symmetry. Well done class! Now let us tackle our last activity for the day. Using the scalpel provided cut the specimens onion, pawpaw, orange and sugar cane into different pieces along different planes and observe the various pieces. Based on your cuttings share with the class the two main ways you cut through the specimens and the observation that you made. Sir, we observed that most of the cuttings through the specimens provided were either along the length or across the length. The cuttings made along the longer sides provided two equal long halves while those across the length produced two shorter sides. That's a very good observation. The activity you just performed is called sectioning. Sectioning is the process of cutting or slicing through a biological specimen to examine its internal structures. There are basically two types of sectioning. These are longitudinal section and transverse or cross section. Differentiate between longitudinal section and transverse section. Longitudinal section is a cut that runs through the entire length of a specimen. While transverse or cross section is a cut across the length of the specimen horizontally. That's very good Scott. Now let's recap all that we have learned today. It's been a wonderful session with you. See you in class next time. Until then, have a nice day and keep studying. Bye.